Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, what I wanted to show you is how you can create IDs automatically when you add a card with the with just with the automations that Trello has. Um, I was having issues finding stuff online on how to do it, so I decided to make this video on how we did it for one of our projects. So you create a card and it automatically uh, renames it and adds a ticket ID to it, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the automations tab and let's go into rules. And we're gonna create an automation. And what we'll do is when a card is, when a card is cre, when a card is, uh, we can do, add it to the to-do list. Right. What is the trigger when a card is added to the to-do list? We're gonna. Where's this? Remove. Rename the card title. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ticket number, right? And then we're gonna go into the Butler bit card variables. And then this is where where we're gonna get a lot of our stuff that we need. So we're gonna get the card name. Right. So we're going to put ticket ID. We're just going to put the rename it, put the card name at the bottom, at the back, at the end of it. And then we're going to put card number. There's like an internal number on the cardboard. So it'll be, you can do that or you can do the card ID, but the card ID is, they're kind of complex numbers for me. So, so I just chose the card number, right? And what we'll do is we'll do here, ticket number. I'm going to put, um, let's say, uh, web dash car number. So I'm going to save it. All right, and let's just test it out. So when you do uh, fix website banner on home page, this will cr rename the card, right, and just web one fix the banner on about us page and this is what it does so you can use this automation for um for just renaming tickets on your board or or anything so you have a ticket number structure and it makes it easier for tracking uh this helps us with our branches and uh make sure that we reference right what ticket and what branch right um but um, yeah, pretty simple. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the in the comment box, and I can answer if you need a a, a better guide or anything. But it's pretty straightforward. See you guys in the next video.